EA Sports to the game. there's a need to make your opponent get on the move and to challenge your fitness level, right, Pat? Well, absolutely. You've got to make your opponent move. You've got to test out their, their strengths and their weaknesses. You've got to see how quick they are, see if they get their, what their agility is like. And that's uh, the only way, really, to get, get to the weakness is to, to find one of the strengths and then hit it back the other side. Well, he tried to sneak 
sneak in. But he was, uh, he was ready for it. He knew exactly what was going on. Well, this is important, sir. some impact on your opponent. I think that's what you're going to see here. All right, the player is looking to hold serve here, consolidate that break, and really take charge here in this match. Up from nowhere, cross court forehand winner. All right, Mac, what's the pros and cons of attacking the net? I know you love this stuff. Oh, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle so if the guy goes cross court, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softly to give you more time to get yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. Shocking service hit there. The second serve is important, otherwise he could be on the back foot. Oh, well, that's double call up. That's good. That's disappointing. If you can get that break there, five, ten minutes into the match, you're changing sides, sitting down for the first time, you look up, it's already a three-game lead. You're, you're out on there in clay, you're slipping and sliding. The grass, you have to sort of tippy toe around a little bit. But on that hard court, you can run full speed. You can stop and start moving back the other way. We could take that quick first step or two and get ourselves in position to cut off a return or a passing shot and be more effective, perhaps, with the volley than you could be on any other surface. Here, the U.S. Open like nothing else, is there? I mean, it's the New York crowd. I mean, I, 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 I mean Wimbledon is such a, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's eerily quiet to hear. The noise can get to you pretty easily, especially especially the foreigners. You're not used to that. Now, I'm lucky, Pat. I grew up in, in Queens, which is where this place. So this is typical for me, as you can imagine, the way I acted out there. <laughs> Great serve there by Arthur Ashe.
big point. Just have a few doubts in your mind, and that could be the error. That's a long game right there. Goes back and forth. You both feel like you have chances. So in one way, you have one guy that's extremely frustrated. The other guy, a bit of sense of relief. It'd be interesting to see how the next couple games pan out. Well, he's been playing poorly, and uh, well, it shows on the scoreboard. Four love down. It's a disappointing effort. Uh, I know he thought he'd do better, but to lose serve the first two times you play here and get down four love, now all of a sudden you weren't you're going to get the old bagel in the first set. Six so doesn't look too good in the scoreboard, and you start hanging the head a little bit. confidence, a good point here or there, and uh, things may start looking good. you do now? You try to just go for even more? Take something off it? Stay back? Do you switch gears that fast? Well, you think uh, the first couple of points have been a bit rusty, so I don't think he's got to be hoping that, uh, you know, gets a bit of rhythm here. Maybe not go for something too crazy. Just try and get a good solid point and hope the opponent misses. Stay focused. where you can say to yourself, I've stood tall. That's all the action we have for you today. I'm Pat Cash, alongside John McEnroe, wishing you all the best.